and Zhang Xinyi with Xinhua News Agency. We are now at the venue of the first China-Africa Economic and Trade Expo, and this event will continue from June 27th to June 29th. With the same win-win cooperation for closer China-Africa Economic Partnership, the contents and the products showcased at this expo includes trade and investment promotion, agricultural technology, energy and power, infrastructure, and the industrial park development. and traders from 53 African countries including Tanzania, Angola, Egypt, Uganda, Senegal and so on attend the first China-Africa Economic and Trade Expo. and one exhibition during the whole process. The exhibition will have six pavilions, including pavilion of African countries, cooperation projects pavilion, achievement pavilion, pavilion for Chinese province, municipalities, autonomous regions, Chinese corporate pavilion, and online exhibition. China's confidence and determination in opening up. The event shares China's development experience and expertise and enhances cooperation with African countries in the new era. If you just join our program, we are now at the venue of the first China-Africa Economic and Trade Expo in Hunan, China. It seems it's full win cooperation for closer China-Africa economic partnership. And the contents and products showcased at this expo include trade and investment promotion, agricultural technology, energy and power, infrastructure. And the industrial park development is also a very important part of it. And many manufacturing companies from China and Africa have joined this event. And the Chinese uh, manufacturing giant Hisense is one of them. Hisense has built a big uh, industry parks in South Africa. And uh, let's welcome Mr. Liu, and he is the general manager of Hisense South Africa. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Liu. Welcome. Yeah. So, uh, could you please introduce uh, yourself to our audience and introduce us something about the uh, Hisense? South Africa. Yeah. Uh, my name is Jerry Liu. I come from South Africa this time, especially attend this event. We have about 1,000 employees in Africa, and in South Africa we have about 700. And 95% of those employees are local from Africa. Uh, we do the business in Africa uh, from the trading business to the local factory. So uh, until today, the business power. Uh, all kinds of uh, electronics and home appliances, including uh, smart TV, uh, refrigerators, air conditioners, mobile phone, washing machine, all the cooking products. Uh, our mission is to provide uh, the high value electronics and appliances to Africa. Since the year 2013, 
Uh, June 6, we invested this factory with the China Africa Funds together. And at the beginning, we start to produce uh, TV and fridges. Step by step, in, we invest uh, more on the parts to vertically produce more, more products locally. The, the factory uh, today can produce almost a million pieces of TV and half a million pieces of fridges. Okay, that's great. That's really amazing. So, uh, in your opinion, how have the projects contributed to local development? Yeah. Firstly, we help the local manufacturers by giving them some business so they can produce the parts for us, like in like packing, packing box, like plastic parts. All those things uh, bring all uh, those com local companies grow up. And at the same time, we are training the local workers. And some of them, they step by step to help other factories. Okay, I think they really benefit a lot. Yes. So, uh, how do you see the prospects of future cooperation between China and Africa? Yeah, we have a bigger hope on this because uh, both governments support each other very well. Uh, as you can see, uh, the, the cooperation between China and Africa uh, involves lots of uh, industries and it is good for Africa and also good for China. So we believe the future is very bright. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So as you can see, just like Hisense, uh, many industry parks have played a very important role in contributing to China-Africa uh, cooperation. So now time for uh, my, co my colleague to show more results of China-Africa cooperation. Okay, thanks Tashiki. Uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the first China and Africa Economic and Trade Expo held in Changsha in Central China's Hunan province. We are now joined by uh, Zhang Ning uh, with Hunan uh, Road and Bridge Construction Group Coalition. Uh, let's see how a Chinese company uh, could bring hopes and opportunities to the local development. Uh, uh, when did you enter the Congo's uh, market and how the, how the uh, cooperation going on these years? Um, for our company, the first time we entered into the Congo, the Republic of Congo market, it is 2000, I thought it is 2000 and, uh, 2001. At that time, we, re we constructed the national, the national highway number one. The highway is the long, the length of the highway is 140 kilometers. Uh, we have many, we have uh, our, we have many employees here. Then we have a lot of construction. We have a lot of cooperation with the, with the government. So after that, then we also built the, we also built the four spark cement plant. You can now you can see from this photo. Uh, in 2012, we built the four spark cement plant. This one is the first, uh, the first cement automatic NSP cement production line in Congo. At first, before we enter the the Republic of Congo, the cement price is very high. I thought it is almost 2,000 per ton, 2,000 RMB per ton. But now, after we built the we built the foment, we built the cement plant. The price of the cement already reduced to five to five to six hundred RMB per ton. We have uh, I thought this one is a, we have this one is a big construction uh, a big a big uh, contribution yeah a big contribution to the local government and also the local people. What, uh, I want to see what else uh, have you done to help uh, the local development besides the uh, assignment the the And from the maybe from other people's eyes, it is only a cement plant, right? But for us, it is not only a, it, it is not a small step for us. It is a big step and also a, uh, for us and also for the local people because you see. Uh, to build this one, the cement plant, we also need to upgrade the, the, uh, electric, the electricity power, the electricity station. Uh, 
um, and also we need to we also need to hire a lot of local people. Then, if we need to transport the cement to other place, we we also build the we also build, we also have our own transportation team. We you can see from the pictures um, the people from the people wear the red uniform or our employees. Local. Yeah, local. local employees. That one is our. That one belongs to our own transportation team. Then you you know at first the, the Congo, the Republic of Congo, the traffic is not very good. Then we built the we rebuilt the the national road along this along this cement plant. Now many many try many many uh, foreign uh, cement plant come here to. Uh, Many enter enterprises to come here to build the cement plant, like the Morocco cement plant, cement plant, and uh, the India, India and the Pakistan cement plant. They also come here. Uh, it has promoted the economic, uh, the economic development of the Republic of Congo. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you, Johnny. Uh, we're. We were just joined by Zhang Ning, uh, who is the uh, Hunan Road and Bridge Construction Group Collected. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are now watching uh, Xinhua Live from Changsha, uh, the first China-Africa Economic Trade and uh, Economic and Trade Expo. <coughs> and uh, let's move on to the next stop over there. And right here we're joined by Liu Guoxiang, the general manager of Yuan Seed Company Limited. And let's see how Chinese technology could help farming industry in Africa. Okay,大概是在自己的一些什么计划。就跟他们当地的东西对比，当地的品种对比，表现民企有它的优势。这是先权了what we do is to uh, put our seed for the uh, to the group of uh, farmers and uh, let them to plant it. Uh, uh, then we invited the government of uh, Madagascar uh, to our uh, exhibition meeting to show them uh, at last of the year the year of a hybrid rice seed. 
2.5 to 3 times than the location variety. 这个第四步就是相当于我们发现这个已经他们国家的人都已经接受了我们炸浆水稻了产量高了两到三倍了所以我们就采取了这个原来就是直接销货这个农民种植现在我们就跟对方的公司合作了我们就做这这两个工作一
Thank you so much. Bye.